coming in number four in the country. Right at tip off, we welcome you to Carmichael Arena in Chapel Hill. The 22nd ranked Tar Heels hosting number four, Notre Dame. Kennedy Todd Williams starts it off with a bang for North Carolina. Everything that North Carolina does here, having lost four in a row, has to do with effort. They have to be better on the glass. They got to take care of the basketball. They have to play with pace if they're going to knock off Notre Dame. Notre Dame, the second highest scoring team in the league, over 84 points per game. Very consistent with their starting lineup. Mabry, Miles, Citron, Westfeld, and Watson on the inside. Five to shoot now. Here is Olivia Miles, Westfeld. Good box out. Eva Hodson getting it done on the boards. North Carolina defensively is going to have to be able to play straight up. It is so challenging to try to help off of any of Notre Dame's shooters. They're too balanced, and they score from all five positions. Deja Kelly makes it five. Nothing North Carolina to start. Deja Kelly is so good off the bounce. One of the top 25 players in the country, along with Olivia Miles, number five with the ball in her hands. Both of those players on the wooden midseason list. North Carolina is showing a hedge and tagging the roller that leaves Westbeld wide open. A couple of good looks from Maddie Westbeld. Husby fouled on the inside by Westbeld. This is why Deja Kelly is one of the top scoring guards in the country. She has the ability off the bounce to get by her defender off the screen. They go under, and she quickly gets into the rhythm of her jumper. Hudson found Poole wide open. One dribble up and in. Well, I'm not sure Courtney Banghart could have asked for a better start out of her team, having lost four in a row to make their first three baskets at home. There was a really good feel, though, at shoot-around for North Carolina earlier today. Nobody hanging their heads, a lot of fire, positivity. This team excited to get back on their home floor for the first time in 2023. Again, the Irish deep in the shot clock. First inside shot attempt for the Irish, and Westbeld makes good. And that's why Olivia Miles is so good at distributing. There wasn't much of a window to get that pass inside. Usby up and over Westbeld. Hey, if this is going to be all about offense all game, I'm perfectly fine with that. I know you are. Hard foul whistled on the floor. Thompson goes down. Well, if you don't see two hips and two shoulders, Olivia Miles did the right thing. You take it off the bounce right to the basket. North Carolina's got to pick her up earlier in transition so that she has, you try to keep her on one side of the floor. If you let her slice the floor, let her see and do what she wants to do, she can pick you apart. That was a foul on Hodgson. It'll put Miles on the free throw. Line. I didn't know that was in the act of shooting. I thought that was on the floor. Miles' numbers in conference play. Pretty similar to what she's done overall this season, really a do-it-all point guard for the Irish. The Tar Heels have been perfect from the floor so far, made the first four shots. Kelly pulls up. And Miles will push the tempo if it's there, running down the floor to Citron. Well, North Carolina will be fine with that tempo, especially with Ebo on the floor. Todd Williams to Aspie. That one all but in. And Lauren Ebo has been a key player off the bench for the Irish this season. Well, she is so good when the game slows down. It is at her pace where she can get inside position in the paint. First field goal from Miles, pulling Notre Dame closer. Todd Williams wants a clear out. Usby. Under 10 now. Todd Williams 
Okay, that's back-to-back -back contested pull-up jump shots by North Carolina when they were having so much success scoring early. Watch Miles, here's what I'm talking about. You let her shift sides of the floor, and she has such great vision in the middle third. That is a very talented turnaround fade away by the young sophomore, Olivia Miles. Ebo lost a little bit, got herself way deep. That didn't go out of bounds behind the basket. Looked like it did hit. Not whistled that way. And that's a travel as Espy just lost her footing. Tar Heels cooling off a little after a red hot start. But an encouraging start nonetheless. Neil Ivy's Notre Dame team, 12 and 1 overall, 3 and 0 in conference play. One of now only two teams, along with Duke, unbeaten in conference play after Florida State lost earlier today. We've been watching Neil Ivy for three years, replacing Buffett McGraw, the National Hall of Famer. Today in shoot around, this was as prepared, as confident, and as assured as I've seen Neil in any game that we've covered. I mean, they are ready for anything that North Carolina might throw at them. Well, that's what they appear to be prepared for. Offensive foul here on Ebo. This is a great rotation. Usby gets outside the restricted area. But that's one of their advantages with Ebo on the floor. When the game slows down, she is really tough in the quarter court to defend. They did a good job on her on that play. This is the only meeting of the regular season for these two teams. 14th yeah. meeting overall. You know what, Jen, I've said all year, I thought Notre Dame had the toughest schedule. I know people have challenged me on that, but they play all the top teams on the road, and they only play them once, and they got to play Louisville twice. At the beginning of the season, it looked like the hardest schedule. Miles. Citron in some trouble, taken away by Hudson. Well, that was a tough place to get the ball. Todd Williams steps back. Good. <laughs> You know, right before the last play, Courtney Banghart looked at T Kennedy Todd Williams after that tough miss two and gave her the thumbs up and the encouragement, the positive body language. Well, she wasn't shy about taking another tough shot. Six point Tar Heel lead. Seven for Miles. Kelly defending Olivia Miles. Mabry in the corner. A good start to this one so far. North Carolina off to a great start at home against number four, Notre Dame. Working it on the defensive end. Trying to turn the little D into O. Tar Heels lead it 11-5. Debbie, the last four, North Carolina's not been able to get a win, but the last three, she scored 20 points per game. Well, North Car Notre Dame has so much respect for her that KK Bransford is in the game and is going to face guard her, which means they're trying not to let her catch the ball at all. See if North Carolina can get others to make plays. This is KK, the freshman number 14 on Kelly. She got knocked off with the screen. Todd Williams, sky high for the rebound. Mabry calling for it. She had the hot hand the last time these two teams met. Knocked down six threes in the Notre Dame win on their home floor last year. And North Carolina has to be careful about over-rotating defensively to help because Notre Dame has had three wide-open triples that they have missed. They're 0 for 4. But I don't expect Mabry to miss very many. I mean, she's made as many threes as just about anyone in the history of Notre Dame basketball. Almost. Got a couple of the sisters there to deal with. She does. 296 made threes in Dara Mabry's career. Fifth amongst all active players in the country. And they are really making life tough for Ebo down low. But she stays with it, gets the points. I mean, that's just the determination of Lauren Ebo to stay with that play in a crowd. 
Kelly. See, I think Deja can get that shot at any point in the offense, and then she lets Olivia Miles go right by her. Well, that's going to be a foul against Olivia Miles, who is almost a case of wrong place, wrong time. Third team foul on the Irish this quarter. Watch right here, Deja Kelly just lets her drive by and Citron loses it on the way. I think Usby might have got a piece of that. Well, the Tar Heels made their first four shots. They're one of eight cents. Foul from Bransford will allow the Tar Heels to reset. North Carolina get their, their good rhythm back on the offensive end, Debbie. They've got to play inside out. They've got to move the ball. It can't be one pass and a shot. That plays into Notre Dame's defensive scheme. You've got to make the Irish guard. Make them defend. Kelly. Cool offensive rebound. The degree of difficulty for Deja Kelly right now and the shot attempts are tough. I mean, she's got to find a way to get some easy ones. Kelly, one of five so far. Six on the shot clock now for the Tar Heels. Cowd crowd counting him down, and Hodgson, no foul there as Ebo just held her ground. And the pass from Avery out of bounds will get her back to North Carolina. Fourth turnover by the Irish. It's not going to show up in the stats early on, but Anya Poole is busting it on the defensive end for North Carolina. She's doing a great job in their ball screen defense. She's being disruptive. She's holding her own against a bigger player in Ebo. She's rebounding. She's the kind of player for North Carolina that doesn't need to take a shot to have an impact on the game. Miles on the bench at the moment for Notre Dame. Ebo Westfeld working inside. Poole grabs the ball. There's another rebound for Poole. That's her fourth board here in the first quarter. Couple of substitutions coming on the floor. Destiny Adams, Paulina Paris for North Carolina. It's been three and a half minutes without a point for the Tar Heels. Here's a situational offensive possession, a baseline out of bounds. These are the plays you got to execute on very well if you're going to knock off the number four team in the country. Fresh off the bench and in the game, Adams can't get it to go. This will be foul against North Carolina. Todd Williams, her first. It's tough for Destiny Adams. Hasn't even gotten a sweat yet. And the first time you touch the ball, you shoot it. That's not usually the way things work, but she was open. Well, I mentioned the scoring drought for North Carolina, however, they are holding one of the top scoring teams, not only in the ACC, but in the country. The single digits right now with a minute to play in the first quarter. And North Carolina going to their 3-2 matchup. That is a jump ball. Tar Heels thought they had a clean block. Mike Forsberg, Tiara Cruz, Katie Lukinich, our referee crew today. Look at Adams move her feet, cuts off West Bell. I didn't see much there except for a block. Well, there was another one on the inbounds play. Westbell got it. Usby came flying in for the block. I think Alyssa Usby is one of the most athletic four or fives in the ACC, especially when she rebounds. That's when she shows off her athleticism because she doesn't need an outlet pass. She goes. She just busts it up the floor. Mabry still looking for her first three. She's been off so far to start this one. Offensive foul on Deja. It's her first. I don't know about that one either. I mean, Deja Kelly 
Did she lower her shoulder? Did she push off? She, she does not do either one of those. Mabry sells it. Offensive foul, the call, and so Notre Dame with the basketball. There's no push off there. Westfeld. We started out uh, like a very fast paced, high scoring <laughs> offensive game. It has really slowed down here in the first quarter. You said, I think we're going to have all offense, and I like it. And now all of a sudden, things not coming so easy. Notre Dame staying in their man. And we're looking, but this has got to be amongst the lowest point productions for the Irish in a quarter all season. Us be wanting a couple more, gets them. Great ISO, late clock, late quarter. Ashby from the elbow, one on one. Nice up and under move off the glass. North Carolina with a six point lead. because you're a really good offensive player. All five of these players are excellent. Four guards, along with Elizabeth Kitley, who's the preseason pick for player of the year in the ACC. Maybe a couple more you might uh, have in the conversation there, Debbie, though, right? In terms of our two teams here today? Well, I like uh, Usby. I think Usby does a lot of things that go unnoticed on the floor. I think she's a big part of North Carolina's effort today to win because of the matchups that she'll face against Notre Dame. I also think Sonia Citron is an excellent player, and her numbers are outstanding. I think people that have followed and listened to me know that I think very highly of Sonia Citron. Citron picking up the foul on the last play, her first. And then Maddie Westfeld, you know, she's their fifth scorer in double figures at some nights, the fifth option. And she used to be the first option, and she's adapted her role very well. And the crowd liking the play from the Tar Heels. Destiny Adams, did she get it off in time? It was close. My Forsberg looked at the table and gave the circle finger a sig signal with her finger, letting them know that they will review whether that got off on time. So for now, the basket counts. If it had been a late game situation, they would review it right away, but they don't stop playing the first half. Watson loses it on the inside. It's Adams diving to the floor, doing the work on both ends. Tar Heels on the run, but Miles back defensively coming at you. Cameraman back there. See, there's the athleticism of Alyssa Usby, who Courtney Banghart tells us wins every sprint in practice. <laughs> Citron takes it away, leads the charge for Notre Dame. Takes her time and is fouled on the shot attempt. She'll go to the free throw line. She's the Irish's best free throw shooter, 80%. As Kelly picks up her second personal. You talked about what a good player Sonia Citron is. I mean, just great numbers across the board. That field goal percentage amongst the best in the conference. I mean, she's almost a 50, 40, 90. She's 88% from the floor, or from the free throw line. That is outstanding. That doesn't happen very often for a player, especially a guard who takes the kind of shots that she takes. They're not all layups. Todd Williams clearing it out. I thought she was going to reject that screen, but she's good going to that right hand. 
And Destiny Adams has done a nice job on the floor, playing her role, moving without the ball. Set a really good screen right there to free up Kennedy Todd Williams. When we talked to Courtney Banghart earlier today, that was one of the things she said it had to be better for her team to pick up their first ACC win, to try to upset the fourth ranked team, that moving without the basketball to collectively be better offensively. As Adams spins to the basket, Ebo the rebound. Miles steps back, got her foot on the line, it's a long two. Five in the game for Miles, leading scorer, leading rebounder. Also leads in assists and steals for the Irish. I think Neil Ivey has done a fantastic job with this team, having them ready for what they may see against North Carolina. And overall, just the intel and the experience that she can bring. Having won a national championship as a player herself, playing in the WNBA at a high level, and then producing a kid that's one of the best young players in the NBA, and her son, Jade Noah, Ivey. Yeah, Mom gets some credit for that, too. Absolutely. North Carolina back in their zone. Shooting just 22% for the game. 0 for 6 now from 3. They only make 5 on the average a game. And Notre Dame doing a really good job of getting back in transition and forcing North Carolina to have to execute. Hodgson trying to dump it off at the last moment to Poole. Winds up turning it over. Miles in the open floor. That's a tough shot. And if you let her get a full head of steam coming right down the middle of the floor, she's capable. Two-point lead now for North Carolina. Hodson hits the floor hard. It will stay with North Carolina under the basket. I'm going to give you our ACCN Wednesday night college basketball doubleheader at 7 Eastern. Blake Hinton and Pittsburgh will be squaring off against number 16 Duke at Cameron Indoor, then Florida State Going to Winston-Salem, taking on one of the league's top scorers and Tyree Appleby and Wake Forest. Also catch those on the ESPN app. Off the inbounds, Kelly. It's her second field goal. That's the situational offense that we were talking about earlier. That's really important for North Carolina to be able to execute. Watson. Good D. Miles stepping in to take it away, then setting up Bransford. A freshman coming off her best game in a Notre Dame uniform a week ago against Boston College, Bransford. Multiple defenders on Deja Kelly. Some of it is because of transition and they get matched up. Evo has been big on the boards. That's her seventh rebound of the game. Off the bench for the Irish. And then Bransford in transition is fouled. <laughs> Foul on SB her first. <laughs> well, put Bransford on the line. The Irish have done a good job getting to the line this season, taking advantage of this part of the game. I think everyone views them as a great three-point shooting team. I think they're a good three-point shooting team. This is what they're great at, getting to the free throw line, playing up tempo, being aggressive off the bounce, playing in their chin in Princeton action. Kelly being defended by Mabry, who's frustrated, but is whistled for the foul. 13th foul in the quarter against the Irish. Yeah. 
Kelly got a good look on the last inbounds play for the Tar Heels. This time she finds Hodgson in the corner. Ball tapped away, kept alive, in possession for Kelly, no. Irish, tie it up, off the two from Mabry. Smart. No one stopped the ball. North Carolina's transition defense needs to be better. Somehow, Todd Williams keeps this ball in North Carolina possession. Nearly lost it. Kelly pulls up from the ACC logo. Miles says, here you go, Mabry. Hit another, and she does. First lead for the Irish. In the first quarter, obviously, you see the numbers they typically put up a little less, although those numbers starting to creep up a little more now in the second quarter, Debbie, is the Irish on a 7-0 run to take the lead. Well, they've been able to play in transition, and when you let Notre Dame run the floor and have great vision, there's so many weapons and ways they can beat you. Mabry scored the last five points for them. And while we were at the break, they did take a look at that shot clock what they thought might have been a violation, uh, it, it, it counted. So our score stays as is. 2017 Notre Dame leading North Carolina. Hodgson, round and out. Miles, off on the three. Now Todd Williams. Does well just to keep the ball in her hands. Oh no. She went down right after she scored. I was just getting ready to say, Kennedy Ty Williams looks at Coach Banghart, says, I'm all right. But you know what? Olivia Miles already has a foul. So you see her back there on, on defense, and you're trying to make sure you score because you want to put some pressure on her defensively because she's so good offensively. Todd Williams not only back on her feet, but a smile to reassure her coach and everybody else in Carolina Blue. Tar Heels take it away. That is the sixth Notre Dame turnover. That is Tiani Key. Just came in off the bench for North Carolina, but the Tar Heels do lose it out of bounds. Well, every Thursday night, women's basketball takes over ACC Network. This week, Diamond Johnson, number 10, NC State, will be taking on Tania Lats in the conference's leading scorer. That should be a good one starting at 6 p.m. And then Miami, Georgia Tech. After that, how about Miami with a big week? An incredible week for Miami, beating North Carolina and Virginia Tech. I'm not sure anybody's had a better week in the ACC than Katie Meyer. I mean, Boston College looking pretty good, though, too. They had a, a win earlier today against Florida State, and the Seminoles their first loss. Jen, State. eight of the 15 teams in the ACC have at least one win over a top-10 team this season. I don't ever remember that happening. That is impressive about the balance of the league, and not all those wins are in conference. Some of those are in the, the non-conference. Notre Dame is the only team that has two wins against the top 10. They beat UConn and they beat Virginia Tech on the road. The Irish, the ACC's highest ranked team, number four in the country this week. Jen Hildreth, the Hall of Famer, Debbie Antonelli, glad to have you with us on this Sunday afternoon in Chapel Hill. Tar Heels coming in hungry, in need of a win, in need of a conference win as Kelly can't get it to fall. There's a foul called against Notre Dame. And see, if you move the ball, North Carolina has got to recognize Notre Dame switching on their man-to-man -man defense. And if you do that, and Deja Kelly can get several matchups on the floor that she can take advantage of off the bounce. That was one of them. Second personal foul on Westfeld on the play. Kelly, another good look off the inbounds. Deja Kelly is two for 11 from the floor. Not the numbers you want from your leading scorer. Miles frustrated as that pass went out of bounds. 
Notre Dame has seven turnovers from six different players. I don't know if it's a, a good or a bad thing, whether you, you don't really want to spread the love in that statistic, yeah, but at least it's you, not one player. You never want to turn the ball over. Under 10 for North Carolina. Chance to retake the lead on this possession. Kelly. Stolen by Miles. Now she's off and running. Nine in the game for Olivia Miles. Key from the corner. Watch the speed up the floor, and this is exactly what you do as a guard. You run right up the backside of a post player because you're forcing Uspi to have to sprint back and turn one way or the other. Whichever way she turned, Olivia was going to go on the backside. That was a big time play. Nine points, four rebounds, two assists for Olivia Miles, who you always have to be on triple-double watch for. She already has more than any other player in Notre Dame history, three in her short career. Look at Ebo working in a crowd. And Bransford just happy to be there and pick up the basketball after Ebo did the work for the rebound. KK Bransford has a role on this team, and she plays it well. You're not going to see her take a bad shot. She's not going to shoot the three. But she's going to offensive rebound and run the floor and take on defensive assignments and get herself to the free throw line. Every Thursday at 10 Eastern after our women's basketball doubleheader, the Nothing But Net crew has you covered to break down the night in the ACC. They'll have highlights, analysis of every women's game, look ahead to the best games on the schedule. Coverage you can only get in one place right here on ACCN. Is Ivory Latta in the studio today? I think she is. All right. Tar Heel legend joining our broadcast crew in studio. One of, one of the most fun players in the history of the ACC. As Paris knocks down the triple for North Carolina, that's their second three in the game. I already know something about threes. <laughs> She's the best three-point shooter in the history of North Carolina. Talk about a fun player to watch. One point Notre Dame lead. It's going to be Notre Dame ball on the sideline. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Well, one of the adjustments North Carolina is going to have to make at halftime is finding a way to get to the free throw line. They have not shot any free throws in the first half. Bransford. Rolled off her fingertips. Usby comes away with it. You got a two for one if you score quickly. Hodson. And this crowd was ready to go crazy. Miles, you can hold for one. No holding. Olivia Miles, that is a blocking foul against North Carolina. Let's take another look. Hodson not there in time. Miles. Season advantage. Second personal on Hodgson. That's Kayla McPherson over there, the player for North Carolina, but they're anxiously anticipating coming back from knee injury, back-to-back -back years. Well, just even watching her a little bit before shoot-around today, you got an understanding of why. There's a lot that this young lady can bring when healthy, and she's getting closer. Well, I asked her how she was staying fresh with her mind. She said, I'm watching film with Coach Banghart all the time, one-on-one. -on -one. Coach Banghart's getting her ready in case they're ready to bring her back. I don't know what her timetable is. North Carolina's not sure. Three-point Notre Dame lead. This top 25 ACC women's hoops matchup from Chapel Hill. Tar Heels for the tie. Left it a little short. It will be the Irish who have a three-point lead, but a tight one. Fast break points. 
North Carolina not shooting the ball well, leads to long rebounds and transition the other way and not building their D. They're going to start out in their matchup 3-2 zone to start the second half. Miles looking for the back door to Citron. Kelly now looking the other way. Citron got her hands to the basketball, but goes out of bounds, so North Carolina will have it on the baseline. I mean, if you actually watch Alyssa Usby sprint, she puts it in another gear, and what that does is stretches the defense because she runs to the front of the rim so hard. Four points in the first half for us be one of those do everything type players and, and do it all with a lot of speed and intensity too for North Carolina. Kelly looking to get her shot to fall. Struggled in that first half, just two for 11. Kennedy Todd Williams does have one of the three point baskets that North Carolina made. Paulina Paris, the freshman off the bench, has the other. Kylie Watson commits the foul on Todd Williams, her first. Same starting five for both teams back out on the floor to start the second half. Kelly pulls up. window. And Lesky says, let's go, North Carolina. She gets down the floor. Can't finish. Lesky's got to finish that. Miles tried to dish up the last second through a lot of traffic. Up and down we go to start quarter number three. And trouble for both teams hanging on to the basketball. I thought there was a deflection. You gotta play fast, but like John Wooden would say, not be in a hurry. North Carolina just has to execute better in the quarter court. They're lucky that it's a three-point game at this point in the game. Westbelt, pretty shot from Maddie Westbelt. She's got four. Uh, with confidence. Pops to the elbow and sticks it. North Carolina led by as many as eight in the second quarter. Notre Dame now up five. Todd Williams. Will they run America's play? Reject the screen, drive baseline, re-screen, and Kennedy Todd Williams comes around for an open mid-range jump shot. Watch Westbell sprint to her spot, catch it cleanly, and pivot on her inside foot and score. Very well done. This Notre Dame team with the ability to score in a number of ways with a number of players doing it. Espy nearly takes it away. Said it's a turnover now. Kelly with the ball in her hands. Miles stops her defensively. And is North Carolina getting the looks they want in the half court offensively? Hudson to pool. That one could be good. It's a couple of layups North Carolina has missed. This is going to be a foul against Watson. I mean, she just plows over on your pool. Second personal on Watson. Stays in the game at the moment. The Lauren Ebo is coming to midcourt, ready to check in for Notre Dame. You gotta throw it in there. She's posting up wide open and then play through her. Such a good screener and roller to the rim. Six for Hodgson. So that, there's no room to make that pass. That's a tenth turnover by North Carolina. Mabry. 
Long look up the four. Who else but Usby first down the floor. And Citron getting back defensively. Mabry, that's how you make that pass. And Citron with a finish and one. There's no question Notre Dame is excellent in their transition game. Look at that drop-off pass by Mabry. But I think North Carolina's best pace is fast. Because when the game is slowed down and they've had to execute in the quarter court, they have struggled. It's part of the reason why they're shooting 25% of the game right now. North Carolina yet to score in this quarter. Notre Dame has five, and Eva Hodgson picked up her third personal foul on that play, so she's gone to the bench. Paulina Paris in for the Tar Heels. Here is Paris. Todd Williams. Pull-up just has not fallen for her today. And, and see, that possession they played through Poole. And Poole is a willing passer and screener. She didn't one time look at the basket. Does she need to? Once in a while, she might be able to swipe it through and take it to the basket. But I think she's such a good screener. She's going to get a, a break right now. North Carolina's had opportunities in this half. Bransford had the ball tipped away. Usby Kelly on the break for the Tar Heels. There's North Carolina's first point to the quarter. It's a three on one off their defense. And there's a good crowd here in Carmichael this afternoon. They just needed a little something to get them going. They've got it now. Still a six point lead for Notre Dame. Turnover, Paris. Destiny Adams, sophomore, has it now for North Carolina. Paris working off the Usby screen. See, the one adjustment North Carolina has made is trying to get back in transition, but they also are looking to attack the rim, so it's a little easier to get back in transition than the long threes. Mabry into the paint, dishes to Evo, and it's a foul. We will take a break. North Carolina coming, but Notre Dame still up six. Some challenges mounting here for North Carolina because that last play was the third personal foul for Kennedy Todd Williams. Hodgson already has three, so some numbers to be wary of as the Tar Heels trail Notre Dame by six and are trying to get their offense going here in the second half. Well, North Carolina has missed three close shots to the basket. And Notre Dame, who had eight turnovers in the first half, has five turnovers in the first five minutes of this third quarter. So Notre Dame has given them a chance to stay around. Ebo on the free throw line. You mentioned the free throw disparity that North Carolina has yet to get there in the game. And Notre Dame is 8 of 10 from the line in the first half. Ebo good on both. At least North Carolina, which is one for five in this quarter, has attacked the rim. Yeah, they're getting good looks. I mean, that's the silver lining, I suppose. Got to finish them. If you're going to pull up for that shot, you got to make it. Six points for Deja Kelly. Struggled to find her rhythm in the first half. Maybe that gets her going. Yes, she's very capable. This game is not going to finish without Deja Kelly having an impact on it. Only meeting last year, North Carolina led by as many as 11 before Notre Dame eventually won in South Bend. Kelly had 22 in that game, and then Destiny Adams says, hello, a block from behind. We were on the same passing angle as Olivia Miles. That was a wide open look to <laughs> Ebo. Good recovery from behind. 
Six to shoot. Westbound stopped initially. Todd Williams playing with three fouls to Kelly. It bounces in. Maybe it did get her going. Back to back buckets for Deja Kelly. Timeout, Notre Dame. Guards. 1,000 point. RJ Darts. Davis, I love watching him play. And we'll see if Deja Kelly is starting to find her fire here for North Carolina. 22nd ranked Tar Heels trying to take down number four Notre Dame. They've cut into the lead. Ebo oh. to Mabry. The zone worked that possession. Good relocation by Mabry, though, off the penetration inside. Adams to Osby through everybody to tie it up. Well, Osby just runs by the Notre Dame defense. 7-0 Tar Heel run to tie us at 31. Second tie of the game. Ebo could not put Notre Dame back out in front. We pointed out, Debbie, that North Carolina was getting good looks to start this quarter, just not finishing them off. They've started to find their touch, though, these last few minutes. Now, this kid has played well off the bench for North Carolina. The freshman, Paulina Paul, Paris. Now with Eva Hodgson on the bench with three fouls, Paris making the most of the minutes. Citron through the back door. Ebo, boy, she has been working the glass. That is now 14, tying a career high for the Texas transfer. This is North Carolina. Usby's ability to rebound. And then eyes up the floor, advance pass. Good cut by Usby, who started the break with her rebounding ability. Destiny Adams committing the foul on the putback attempt. Puts Ebo back at the line. She's a perfect three for three so far. Ebo one for eight from the floor, Jen. She has 14 <laughs> rebounds. Making an impact off the bench as she has done all season long. This might be one of those games first to 50. It's been hard fought. We've had some spurts of offense for both teams. Started out that way. Adams. Tar Heels and made the last five. 39% three-point shooter with the green light. Adams played well in the first half for North Carolina. Miles into the paint and out for Mabry. Rebound, Ebo. Ebo's just killing it on the glass. That's her 15th rebound. <laughs> but the Irish offense, which averages 84 points per game, second in the ACC. Struggling to find its consistency against this Tar Heel defense. Two Tar Heels down. It's going to be Notre Dame ball. I think Adams actually whistled for the foul her second while she was on the floor. I mean, Usby, I like the thought. You know, hesitate. You're a 5 for 21 shooter from the floor outside the arc. Don't shoot it. Pass it. It's a good move by her. Smart. There's a reason why you're open most of the time against these coaches in this league with a scout and the high level analytics that each of them employ in their scouting reports. No free throws for North Carolina. 
And now you put the Irish's best free throw shooter on the line, and Citron makes 88%, does miss the first. Notre Dame in the bonus for this final minute of the quarter. Todd Williams. Back to Notre Dame. North Carolina coming in on the four game losing streak. Three of those in conference play, but all of those conference losses have been close. They're in another tight one here. They've got the lead at the moment. They'd like to keep it that way. They lost by seven to Florida State, three to Virginia Tech, and four to Miami. Citron. Citron. Irish have missed their last eight. Citron with just one basket. Usby wants the three and gets it. That is in rhythm. That is a catch and shoot in transition. Her sixth triple of the season. The Tar Heels three for four from three in this quarter to help them to a five point lead. Citron took her eye off it for a moment. Last shot could go to the Tar Heels. Oh, no foul. Wow. 39, 34, <laughs> it is. First, but then the NC State next Sunday here in Chapel Hill. By the way, our thanks to Matt Krause, the excellent radio play-by-play -play voice of the Tar Heels for that information. Fourth quarter underway. Big opportunity for North Carolina here in the home floor. And Helena Paris, the freshman out of Congress, New York, continuing to get some important minutes. She's fouled on her way to the basket. She is going to go to the free throw line. First time, better late than never, for the Tar Heels in the game. I thought she played well at Virginia Tech. She's a freshman that's starting to come on for Courtney Banghart. So the first free throw attempt, a miss for the Tar Heels. There's a little more information about Paulina. Naismith High School All-America honorable mention. She's got six points in the game. North Carolina, six point lead. She's really the only new face for North Carolina this year. Miles, no points in the second half for the Notre Dame point guard. Had 11 in the first. Inside tech, she usually wants a ball screen. She gets it from Bransford. That is a kick. <laughs> 20 on the shot clock. Snap for the kick, and the Irish with it under the basket. Miles right back to Mabry. Keeps it, goes with her left. Seven in the game for Dara Mabry. Destiny Adams, Paulina Paris, two players off the bench for North Carolina. Here in this fourth, Ebo. I mean, she blocked shots without even leaving her feet. <laughs> she has been a monster on the glass, a career day already. 15 rebounds. I thought she was a good player for Vic Schaefer last year at Texas, helping them to an Elite Eight. Grad transfer joining the Irish this year. Here goes Miles with the left. She is fouled. That is the third personal on Adams. So now a trio of Tar Heels with three. Adams, Hodgson, and Todd Williams. Miles, an 80%, just about 79% coming into today. Free throw shooter. She pulls Notre Dame within three now. Kelly. A road, the pressure from Mabry. And ends up losing the basketball. Mabry now wanting to hit it on the offensive end. This 
mismatch with Ebo. Harris knew it, drained it. Smart. When you push in transition, you make the defense seek the level of the ball. That, if you run, you will get mismatches. Because someone has to stop the basketball. It's not always the person that you want matched up on the ball. Nine points off the bench for the freshman, Paulina Paris. Miles oh. whips it inside to Citron. Tough basket. Now that was a pass <laughs> right over the head of Destiny Adams. She had no idea. The five hole in hockey. Shoot. <laughs> I mean. She's fun to watch. That is a pass. We're on the same angle right here. Now watch this go sailing right over Adam's head. No look on a dime. Citron gets behind the North Carolina defense. And Citron able to finish, probably blistered her hands a little bit catching that ball. Held on, made the basket. You gotta have high hands on the perimeter. That's one of the defensive habits. Courtney Banghart's asking for a team right now. Get your hands up. Mabry turns the corner. Kelly is fouled. Good control on the dribble, draws the foul. That is the third foul on Miles on that play. Well, we've seen some amazing fans across the ACC, and now we need your help. ACC Network wants to experience each sport from your perspective. So snap a pic, take a video, use the hashtag AllTheDevotion. Might just see it on ACCN. Harris, boy, she's having a game. Paulina Paris becomes the second Tar Heel in double figures. Mabry. This zone has made Notre Dame hesitate. There's Uspi ahead of the ball. Paris wants another. Eight on Thursday. The win down in Tallahassee. Well, NC State bounced it back off that tough loss at home to Boston College. Miami, back-to-back -back big wins without Destiny Harden. Katie Meyer doing a, another Coach of the Year kind of job down there in Coral Gables. Citron, the second made three of the game, and boy, did the Irish need it. A BC win, by the way, was at home earlier today. My apologies, not in Tallahassee. Harris to the basket, why not? <laughs> All right, little freshman, we're watching you. What a play. 11 points in the fourth quarter for Paulina Paris. High hands, you've got to guard the ball if you're North Carolina. And Notre Dame's got to play inside out. They're playing too much on top of the defense. Another turnover for the Irish. 15th of the game, that was Kassam Prosper, freshman who is an early enrollee, just joined this Notre Dame team after Christmas. And you know, Neil Ivey is well aware of some of the turnover issues that her team has suffered as Notre Dame tries to extend their defense. One of the, fir the first questions she got in her pregame presser the other day was, what are you doing about the turnovers? And she's addressing it. They're working on it. She had a great week of practice. She had practice players in, including Jewel Lloyd, Demetrius Jackson. There's a couple of ballers. Demetrius Jackson, of course, was a great player at Notre Dame for Mike Bray. And then Jewel Lloyd. Need I say more? I should think not. Paris. Feeling unstoppable at the moment. Can't get that layup to fall. High hands. With those three fouls, Notre Dame forced to play without Olivia Miles right now. I don't know how much longer Neil Lang is going to keep her out. 
Because if they go a couple more possessions without a score, I think you might have to consider putting her back in. Todd Williams stepped out of bounds. Okay, Bransford comes on for the Irish. No miles yet. Might be going a little offense, defense, Coach Ivy. And Notre Dame, 12 and 1 on the season so far, 3 and 0 in the ACC. The only other unbeaten team in conference play is Duke. Just jumped into the top 25 this week. They're not in action today. Destiny Adams really fighting the front. Couple of screens for Mabry. Westbell. Ebo again on the glass. Ebo has been terrific on the offensive boards. That is her seventh offensive rebound. She's been challenging for North Carolina to deal with. Here's the long three. Look at Ebo go to work inside. Citron holding off Deja Kelly and Ebo with another bucket. That's 18 rebounds, seven on the offensive end. Five point Tar Heel lead, under four to play in Chapel Hill. Paris, Usby, Mabry takes it. Turnover. 13th for North Carolina in the game. Mabry is fouled. Be on the floor, Forsberg tells us. That's the first on Paris. Second team foul on the Tar Heels. Westfeld. Well, Ebo is trying to get position. They're going to say that Destiny Adams committed the foul. That'll be her fourth. As she and Ebo were jostling for position. Well, she's been working hard to front. I just mentioned in the last possession. Here she is trying to get around. And the swim move from Westbell caught Usby. I was going to say, in the NFL, the previous play might have been uncatchable anyway. You know, so you don't throw the flag on that one. <laughs> and I hate to say makeup call. We don't like to say that, especially with Tommy Salerno, the uh, advisor for the officials sitting right next to me. I hate to get in trouble. He's already posted me up a couple of times in the game. Adams driving to the basket. She says, all right. Foul on one end, I'm gonna take it to you on the other, and she does. And keep in mind, North Carolina had not been to the free throw line in the first three quarters of the game. Here in the fourth quarter, it's been Paulina Paris getting to the line, and now Destiny Adams getting to the line. And this is still just the second trip to the free throw line for the Tar Heels in the game. Both good for Adams, and she also drew the third personal from Ebo on that last play. Seven points for Destiny Adams, who is out there playing with four fouls. And Olivia Miles is back. Is there some Miles magic to make a difference for Notre Dame here late? That post-to-post -post connection has been hard to find today for Notre Dame. That's an uncatchable. If now if Westfield takes one more dribble to improve that angle and drops it in. Notre Dame forced to pick up full court. Time ticking away on the Irish. Their only loss of the season coming against UConn. And coming against Maryland, excuse me, bounce back out the win against UConn after that Maryland loss. That Maryland loss, the only blemish for the Irish coming into today. It was a Diamond Miller buzzer beater for Maryland that knocked off Notre Dame. There's a nice backdoor cut by Citron. And another dime from Miles to set her up. Five point, Tar Heel lead. Who executes the best? Who takes care of the basketball here? Let's go, Let's go, 
Deja Kelly, no hurry, 10 seconds to shoot now. Todd Williams is fouled. I think she was trying to shoot or was she trying to pass? And that's the fourth foul on Evo. It doesn't matter because that's yep. over the limit of team fouls for Notre Dame. Seventh team foul of the quarter. So to your point, Todd Williams will be shooting two no matter what. And Evo's going to have to go to the bench with those four fouls. West Bell with three miles with three. Uh, this is where I stick in how much I missed the one and one. I'm still efforting to get on the rules committee. Got to believe there could be an ad hoc committee spot for me somewhere. <laughs> well, Todd Williams makes good on both the free throws. Seven points. Tar Heels advantage. Miles, what does she want? Calls her own number. Hands down, man down. 17 in the game for Miles. Free throws for Kelly. North Car Notre Dame has to try to extend this game as long as they can now. And what North Carolina needs to do is make free throws, get a stop, and, and then come down and move the ball. And Notre Dame will be looking to score quickly. And you do not need threes yet. You still can score quickly and extend the game. Got to make your free throws when you get there. Todd Williams did the last time around. Kelly, about a 70% free throw shooter, misses the first. It's still a two possession game, but you don't need a three unless that's the best shot available. Oh, and West Belt stumbles and travels. You've got to be kidding me. Really an unlucky moment there for Maddie West Belt. She's caught her own feet. Steal. Trap, then you foul. Miles leading the defensive effort, and that's against Todd Williams. Oh, wow. What a throw. Fourth foul on Todd Williams, too, by the way. You're aggressive going for the steal here. You get a deflection. Kennedy Todd Williams pushes off right there. Good call by the officials. Timeout on the floor. The quarter, so the next one will put the Irish on the line. North Carolina, no field goals in the last 4.15, but Notre Dame has made their last three. And should it come to it, will the three-point shot be there for Notre Dame when they need it? It has not consistently here today. They're two for 19 from three. They're staying in the zone. Miles takes the three. Adam sky high rebound, and then it is a jump ball. Citron got her hands to it. It'll stay with Notre Dame. What a play by Sonia Citron. North Carolina going back to their man to man. You want to switch on everything here. Miles does get it into Mabry. Just over a minute to play. Darren Mabry, one of the best three-point shooters the Irish had, and just cannot find it today. One for ten is Mabry from three in the game. Yeah, you want Deja Kelly to handle the ball in this situation if you can. You can use your timeouts. North Carolina gets one. Good timeout by Courtney Banghart. I think Deja Kelly was losing her balance, and it was a trap coming on the sideline. 
Two well, timeouts they... remaining for North Carolina. Sorry, Debbie, one for Notre Dame. Both teams in the bonus. Run and jump by Notre Dame in the backcourt. I was surprised that wasn't a foul on Citron, actually. Contact, but now there is one called. A little more time ticked off the clock. Goes against Bransford, her third. Close, competitive conference games all across the country. It's fantastic for the fans. Deja Kelly on social media earlier this week reached out to the Tar Heel faithful, said, we need you here in Carmichael on Sunday. Well, this crowd has had a lot to cheer for so far this afternoon. They want more. They want that first ACC win. They want that top five win. Tar Heels less than a minute away from getting both. Can't give up any threes if you're North Carolina. Takes the open three, no. <laughs> Kelly, fouled by Mabry, yeah. she'll go back to the line. And you can use a timeout there to advance the ball if you're feeling pressure on the backboard. North Carolina has two timeouts remaining, Notre Dame with just one. After a slow start, Deja Kelly has found her way to impact this game as we had a feeling she would. Well, here's the thing about Deja Kelly. She went two for 11 in the first half. Okay, she's two for four here in the second. And she did other things, not just trying to score up the bounce. And her teammates were able to get involved as well. So she rebounded and she took care of the basketball. She did some other things to help her team. Kelly, a perfect four for four from the line in the fourth quarter. Largest lead of the game for North Carolina. They can smell it now. Turnover, just a little icing on the cake. You got to go much quicker if you're Notre Dame. The North Carolina matchup zone, a problem in the second half for Notre Dame. The best three-point shooter is Dara Mabry, and North Carolina did a good job of finding her. And Paulina Paris, the freshman for North Carolina, what a second half. Now, yeah, but three of her points coming in the second half, so 13 of her 16 in the game as Espy tacks on another point. And after North Carolina not shooting any free throws until the fourth quarter, they have gone 11 for 14 in the fourth quarter from the line. But we say, better late than never. And then the Tar Heels taking care of all the details as you think you would have to against the Notre Dame team that most would say has been the best in the league so far this season. Bransford fouled on her way to the basket. What a swing. And that will be the fifth personal on Destiny Adams, who had seven points in the game. And she'll head out. And she played a part. Had some big rebounds. Played some important minutes as other Tar Heels were also in foul trouble. The largest lead for Notre Dame was four in the second quarter with a minute 30 to play. They had a three-point lead at the half. What a turnaround for the Tar Heels. North Carolina on the verge of that first ACC win. Last time they started 0-3 in conference play was 2019. They went to the NCAA tournament that year. Tar Heels pick up ACC win number one season see if that'll carry some momentum into the new year as they hold the high scoring Notre Dame offense to their 